Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the sardine egg sandwich. That's right, sardine egg. Okay, first thing we need to do is put a hard-boiled egg through a ricer. I don't have one. I have a food mill, so... Now we're to add an equal amount of boneless, skinless sardine fillets. Mixed together. Next, we're to moisten with French dressing, which back then meant vinaigrette. Moisten. And we're to spread between very thin slices of bread. And no, not buttered. Oh, I forgot to mention, they specified that the vinaigrette was to be made with uh, lemon juice, not vinegar, which is what I did. All right, let's give this sardine egg sandwich a go. That's actually pretty tasty. You get the brightness from the lemon juice, a little bit of richness from the oil and the vinaigrette, and then the hard-boiled eggs with the sardines is nice. This is a tasty little combo. I do want to plus it up a little, though. I'm going to keep it simple. Slice of tomato, salt and pepper combo, leaf of lettuce. Okay, let's give this sardine egg sandwich plussed up with a little seasoned tomato and lettuce. A go. Sometimes the simplest plus-ups are the best. Here we have a seasoned tomato and lettuce, and it's just bringing freshness and a sweetness and a little bit of crunch. Well, I gotta say, the original sardine egg sandwich was much better than I thought it was going to be. I'm gonna give that a seven. That was tasty. Plussed up with the seasoned tomato slice and the lettuce. That's probably a seven and a half. Yeah, that's probably a seven and a half. And yeah, I'd make this again. I'd make the plussed up version. Sardines are uh, tasty, uh, not too fishy. It works really well with the, the eggs. You're getting a lot of protein in the sandwich, a lot of nutrition. You're eating down the food chain, which is good for everyone. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to finish that. And yeah, I'd make this again. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.